What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. We hope you've been enjoying all of our HHN content all week. Um, and today, we're here to give you the Knights of Horde certified plan for 2021 in Hollywood HHN. Are you ready to join us for the ride? Guaranteed to work, too, man. We've done this in 2019. It works. Obviously, it was a different layout in 2019, yeah. but 2021 has a very similar layout that we will guide you through to get you from uh, start to finish to the event to make sure you hit every maze and scare zone and maybe even have time to watch the show. So let's get it down. So Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to, we don't endorse that. But, you know, I don't know. You, you just do. said you wanted to watch the show for air conditioning. Maybe other people have the same thoughts. Yeah, true. Yeah, you know, we need an air conditioning break. But diehard fans, you know, they could skip past it. Um, oh, you know, are you, are you questioning my diehardness? <laughs> I, you've only been one year. Yeah, and uh, last year I had a last time I had a frequent fear fast. And yeah, which in front I think of the we line. only went like three times with that. Was it my choice? Anyway, this is the certified guaranteed to work uh, game plan. For HHN 2021 haunt season. Uh, and let's get it started. First and foremost, make sure you take advantage of the early entry. Uh, early entry? We have not gotten confirmation yet that if it's going to happen this year. But in the past years, it has happened. So if this does happen this year, take, take advantage. advantage of that early entry. Uh, they let you in around, I think, 5.30 or 6.00. Um, gets, as the season goes on, it gets earlier and earlier and earlier. Yeah. Just know that. Just know that. Um, they, they, <laughs> they like to test run it a couple weeks to see what works better and, and how many people actually show up. But early entry, definitely take advantage of that when you're going yeah. to visit. Um, on top of that, just get there early in general so you can uh, eat in City Walk. It's a little bit cheaper to eat in City Walk than it is to eat in the actual theme park. So take yeah. that in mind as well. Um, and you'll get a better parking. Yeah, not only that, if you want to take your time to like go around the stores and stuff, there's a couple of really good stores at the City Walk that I highly suggest you go check out. Yeah, um, uh, he recommends the Raider store. Uh, That's what he recommends. No, I'm more of the Dodger store fan and the oh, comic yeah. book store and the Hot Topic. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the, studio, I know, I'm just and the Universal Studio store. Yeah, right there on the, on the long way. Right there. You can get some HHN merch actually in that store usually too, so that's a good way to yeah. copy your merch inside – uh, the studio store at City Walk before you actually get inside and have to fight the crowds for that. But True. that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the game plan. So once the early entry starts, head straight down to the lower lot. That's where you're probably this year. I, I think Sammy and I we were having this conversation like off camera, but we were trying to figure out how they're going to do early entry this year, um, especially with not going to the back lot this year. Your furthest maze is going to be in the Mummy queue, where the Texas Chainsaw Massacre maze is going to be at. And then right next to it will be the Exorcist and the soundstage behind Transformers Soundstage 27. Um, those are going to be probably the early entry mazes this season. Again, we do not know. We're going off speculation. That makes the yeah. mo most sense. Obviously, usually it's been uh, lower lot mazes. So uh, we're, we're going to just suggest or speculate that those are going to be the mazes for early entry. Um, specifically more Exorcist might be your early okay. entry one because it's in yeah. sort of a soundstage. Um, yeah. So, of course, hit those two mazes during early entry. Um, that'd be the Exorcist and Texas Chainsaw. That's two mazes on the bout. Yeah. What do you want to do after that, Sammy? Well, unfortunately, I don't know. I, I knew the beginning of our game plan. I don't know where we're going next. I imagine we're going up, though. Yes. Um, and I would guess we're going to what's probably going to be one of the longest lines of the night, and that's the Terror Trail. Exactly. Perfect. You're a fucking natural at this, bro. Bro, what, what can I say? I am not an expert. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Terror Trap is going to be your next thing. Obviously, that's new for 2021. It's coming back. Uh, it took a, a year hiatus off, and you know that's going to be packed because of how popular it is, because it is coming back, it is returning. That is going to be um, pretty packed. So by the time you're done with the two mazes down there, it should roughly be around the time the event starts, um, maybe a little bit earlier. But keep that in mind that a lot of people are going to be either going there or hitting the, the mazes in the front, um, but just be prepared. You might have to wait at least 15 to 20 minutes, maybe. Uh, that's that's speculated. I don't know how crowds will be this yeah. year, but yeah. by the time the event opens, about 15, 20 minutes seems about right, especially when it just opened. Um, 
So you're going to want to go check that out. After you're done with the Terra Tram, so you've done the uh, you've done Exorcist. the Exorcist, you've done the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you've done the uh, Terra Tram, the uh, Unlimited or the Forever, or I don't know what it, it's the Purge. Um, Ultimate Purge. <laughs> Ultimate Purge. There you go. Uh, you're gonna next. We're gonna go to two new locations that are new for 2021, and that is gonna be the Haunting of Hill House and the Curse of Pandora's Box. Around this time. People have gotten in. It's going to be a little packed, especially Haunting a Hill House being the property that it is. Um, definitely hit that one first because that is going to be your longest wait. By the time you get out of that, you're going to head straight over to the Curse of Pandora's Box, um, which is another original returning from 2019. Uh, go check out Curse of Pandora's Box. When that's all said and done, it should be roughly around maybe 9.30 to, to 11 yeah, o'clock. 9.30 to yeah, nine thirty to eleven is a good window. Yeah, yeah, and that's just a good window because we don't know. You don't know the you line. Don't know the line waits or whatnot. Like I said, like we always say, the earlier you go, the less the crowds are. Um, so around nine thirty, eleven Saturdays. When, yeah, <laughs> avoid uh, nine thirty or eleven. That's when it should be. Well, you should hopefully get out around that time uh, as you're walking through. And also, we don't know where the entrance is going to be for those two mazes by the Curious George parking lot. So keep that in yeah. mind. Uh, that's just the game plan we're giving you right now, but. As you get out, uh, the next maze you're going to want to hit, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Now, this is going to be probably one of the most uh, crowded lines at the event this year because of the hype of the Universal Monsters, how popular yeah. they are, and the hype with the event, uh, with the maze this year, especially with the, everything we were showing at Awaken the Spirits. Um, and it's one of the first mazes you see. Yeah, it's, it's in the Parisian Courtyard, so it's going to be one of the first mazes people see when they walk in, um, as well as all the scare zones. So you get to see the scare zones while you're there, too, which was... Um, uh, was it a Demon City or something like that, or uh, the Chainsaw Rangers? And um, I don't know names. At the exit of uh, Universal Monsters will be the Silver Scream Queens, which is looks what does like, he? really really looks a lot of fun. And um, it looks like there's going to be a photo op too. Yeah, they have uh, a couple right of those things. So you talking about the little props they set up today? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Looks like there's some photo ops there. Yeah. So, so stay tuned for that. Ooh. Oh, there goes the camera. <laughs> um, so. It's not guaranteed. We don't know for sure if there's going to be photo ops, but it's looking speculation right now. So have those phones ready because there may be some photo ops that you don't want to miss, especially with the exclusive posters they're releasing for each uh, individual female character, which I'm very much looking forward to seeing because they looked really cool in the concept arts. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Then to end the event, okay, well, let's be real. Some of you may not want to go through it, but some of you may want to go through it because it's been so long. Uh, the Walking Dead is an option, too, and I can guarantee you that will be oh, the sure lowest, the the lowest weight uh, maze. Although it may not be because it's been a, it's been away for about a, a two years now. So it, yeah. a lot of people who probably missed it may be waiting in that line. But you're looking usually or, or when Halloween Horror Nights goes on, it's about anywhere from 20 to 30 minute wait. Uh, you can hit that if you'd like. That's right yeah. after. But we, we suggest maybe holding that off for last because that is something that's been at the parks for some time, uh, and you've probably seen it. And if you haven't, I still suggest waiting, hitting it last. But the next maze you're going to want to hit, obviously, is the You can uh, skip this one, too. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Part of it. Uh, the, the next maze you want to hit, which will be one of your last mazes that you hit on the way out, is Halloween for the return of Michael Myers, which will be in the Waterworld queue. Um and then from there, after that, uh, if you decide you want to do it just to kind of complete everything, we might do it just so we can say we did everything. Uh, the Walking Dead. Um, yeah, we're there. probably going to have no wait. Yeah, there'll probably be no wait. Either way, we're going to be in front of the line, so it, it doesn't matter, uh, at least us. But this is guaranteed to work for general mission. We actually have tested this plan uh, opening weekend at Halloween Horror Nights when we went. Uh, the second weekend, uh, I think Sammy came with me as well. So... It, it is proven to work. Um, we've done it. I've been doing this plan since I've been going in 2013. Uh, that's when I really started developing the plan and whatnot in 2013. Um, I've been going to the event since 2011, but 2013 I started this plan, and it's been working every year since until I started buying the front-of-the-line pass. So it is guaranteed to work. I hope it works for you guys. Uh, Sammy, any last thoughts on the game plan before we uh, wrap it up here? Yeah, I think another part of the game plan is just to be quick Yeah, uh, and to be – mindful of your time um maybe study the map prior to you go that way you kind of you know, know I, I, you don't you don't got to do your homework i mean you can do your homework if you want well i'm, but, I'm talking about for people who's never visited the, the yeah. event this will be their first year going to horror nights so they may not yeah, know yeah. the locations like a lot of the the veteran people that go every year you know what i mean yeah um 
I, I think, yeah, I think it's be mindful. I, I think if we can provide any recommendations with our game plan, I'm not going to say this works 100% of the time. Like, I don't know what the Saturdays, the weekend before Halloween, uh, I don't know how Fridays bad that's going to be. Yeah. I don't know how bad that's going to be. Yeah. Um, but I, I think if, as long as you know what you want to hit, um, so I, I think that's, I think if you are going to do any homework, kind of know what you really want to hit. Yeah. Uh, and if there's something that you're not super enthused with, then maybe don't do it. Yeah. Um, like, like, you know, we mentioned the walking dead. If you're not like the number one, like, Walking Dead, and maybe you don't do it. Or um, if you were like, I saw Curse of Pandora's Box previously, which is a bad take, but you can have that take. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Right. Maybe skip it if you want. Um, but same thing with uh, uh, Michael Myers, with The Exorcist, if you've seen Texas yeah. Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, I know the only two, th- three things that are, you know, coming this year is the Terror Tram, um, Bride of Frankenstein Lives, and Haunted of Hill House. So. Those are three you're definitely going to want to check out, especially yeah. new for 2021. And the yeah. scare zones, obviously. Yeah, definitely. And um, I, I think I, I, if we can provide you any recommendation, use Thursday, use the Sunday, go early in the season. Um, and, and most of all, just be prepared to walk um, and, and, and be scared and have a good time. Yeah. Um, and let's try to make as much fun of, of the season because we all know that we didn't get um, theme parks in 2020 for the haunt season. So let's enjoy um, the time. Let's come with good attitudes. Um, and just know you're going to have to wait in line. So just be prepared for that. House rules. So if they ask, you know, we, we still are in the middle of the pandemic. You know, there's, you know, we, we're still trying to, you know, get over everything. So if they ask that you must wear a mask inside uh, attractions, inside of mazes, shows, please do not ruin it for everyone. Do as you're told. Because we would like to keep the event on for the entire season, and this goes for any event you go to. Yeah. Uh, yes, also, I, I will. I'll be the first to say because I hate doing it, and I know Sam will be right there with me. Yes, the masks are a pain in the ass. You sweat. You know, especially bigger dudes like me and Sammy, it, it makes it even more hard. But because we love these events, because we love coming to these events, because we want to continue coming to these events, we want to go to more throughout the season. We will follow rules because we want to have a good time, and we do miss these major theme park haunts so please just abide by all rules i know it sucks i know i know it it's been a long time you know doing this but the more we practice this the more we'll we'll get by this yeah and if i could provide two more last thoughts before we end um pack lightly um come come light um it's good. it's a long day it's a lot of walking a lot of waiting and standing in line so pack light you don't want to bring a backpack with like a bunch of sweaters and change of clothes and things like that. Cause then you're gonna have to go to security and that's going to take longer. You're going to have to carry it all night. Uh, and based upon, uh, you know, typical weather in LA, it's going to be warm in September and, yeah. and probably midway through October yeah. before it starts to cool down. So pack light. And the second thing is as much intrigue as there is to want to go on rides. Wait, Wait till the end of the night. If you have free time, do it then. But I would say you're probably there. You're probably there to to enjoy the other attractions, aka the mazes. So yeah. probably, you know, put your focus on that. Um, and then if you have a little bit of free time, or if it's just a light night, then maybe you can incorporate some rides in your yeah. plan. But or if um, you're front of the is, line, you know. So yeah, definitely. But I, I think we prefaced it as just single night GA, yeah, try to yeah. get the most of. Just, the just days. take in mind that the rides will be there year round. The mazes are only there seasonal. Yeah. So at this point. Yeah. Um, uh, but if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like below. If you've not done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, if you can also uh, want to be informed every time we post, go ahead and hit that bell notification. Um, uh, but that is our game plan for this season. Halloween Horror Nights, Hollywood 2000. Or, yeah, I think I said Hollywood. I'm sorry. It's late. Uh, 2021. And we hope to see y'all in the fog. See you guys Peace. soon.